guys, my name is Jalen. I am a student at Cal State Bakersfield and I am going to be discussing a meeting I attended for Panama Buena Vista Union School District for my online class EDTE 3308. In case you guys don't know anything about Panama Buena Vista, it's a district in Bakersfield, California for pre-kindergarten to 8th grade. The district office is located off of Ash Road and it was established in 1875 and they have about 25 schools serving 18,000 students. Um, Keith Woldridge, the board president, he runs the board meetings at the district office along with four other trustees, Dr. Haddock, Greg White, Anna Rojas, and John Lake. Um, they run these meetings at 7 p.m. on the second and fourth Tuesday of every month, unless stated otherwise, but I visited the one on October 8, 2018. The meeting I attended was pretty formal. There was about 30 to 40 people there, and they were all including like teachers, students, parents, administration, just people that are involved with Panama, Panama Buena Vista. Some of the business they addressed in this meeting included the budget, public concerns, and they did a presentation on the school aspirations, and Sandrina, Sandrini and Castle presented that day. Sandrini was focused more on lessening incidents at the school, and what they did was they set up a um, like an incentive tracker and an incident tracker through the school where it tracks how many incidents a student has had and how much a class has had and how much a grade has had, and they the students, they get incentives for having a certain percentage and it's overall just trying to create a more welcoming atmosphere with less trouble and I thought that was really interesting because I didn't have that whenever I was in school. Castle Elementary had an example about teachers of each grade collaborating to address issues throughout their school year. So like for their school, it was about working with multiple backgrounds and different cultures and the rigor of the assessments that they should give. And apparently there's a teacher designated in each grade that is the lead teacher and they come up with these meetings weekly. This was our parent that came in for the public concerns and she was stating that her son was through Panama Buena Vista and he had a really low reading level, which was her concern and the school's concern and she said that in eighth grade the student still had a kindergarten reading level and I guess she had tried and tried and tried to get better help for him and by eighth grade she I guess got a tutor from I believe a private company and got his reading level up to eighth grade which was great but she was coming to the board to address an issue regarding the administration saying that she had never gotten information or access to other options to helping him. And I thought that was really interesting that I, I guess I never noticed that you can go to the board for situations like this. And it was really nice to see that the board was willing to listen to her and she was on a time frame, like I had said, they were on a very timed agenda, and it had passed the 20 minute mark, or 5 minute, I can't remember exactly, but she said that they were going to talk after, which I thought was also very interesting, because they were willing to discuss something outside of the meeting. Another issue they addressed was the budget. And they were approving it for the school year, which was really cool because I didn't know that there was so much money involved with this district. Their budget was approximately like $180 million around there. And they were discussing how a third of it is going to the district office and administration, which I found really cool because in our textbook on page 234, we had discussed that a third of the funding goes to administration and for this district the funding was going towards remodeling the office because there's so much faculty that they don't even have room for desks for them. 
The textbook continued by saying that the other two-thirds goes towards principal, salary, building maintenance, and transportation. I found this really relevant to our meeting because our meeting discussed how Ronald Reagan Elementary just got a brand new playground, all new grass for their school because it was it was hurting the kids at school while they were playing during recess. And I found that really interesting because I could tie it back to the book and how they were discussing that the money does go towards our schools. Another issue that they brought up was how they have recently switched over to solar power. And the solar company that they go through was actually at the meeting to uh, present a PowerPoint regarding the money that they have saved throughout this last year. Apparently, they were expected to save $5.8 million, and with the solar power, they saved $6.1 million, which was 105% over the goal, which was really proud. And um, they had mentioned that they're installing new control systems in the schools so that the AC units turn off whenever the classroom isn't being used, which... If you think about it, it's not being used a lot of the time of the year, so it would save the schools even more money after. Overall, I found this meeting really eye-opening. It was very surprising to see how much goes on besides teaching and lesson planning. The district really does focus on other things other than just getting the agenda across. They were focusing on everything from behavior to education to saving money to making sure that the kids don't get hurt on the playground and discussing issues that might be brought upon family and other students. It also was really nice to go to this district meeting because I had once been a student there so seeing teachers that I once had grow and develop into other positions was very heartwarming. It, I know they probably didn't recognize me, but it was definitely something really sweet to see and to see how supportive they are of their teachers and their principals and their district office. It was overall a very good experience and I would definitely go again. After visiting this meeting, I definitely would recommend teachers in the future to go to their district meetings at least once a month or every other time just to get a feel of what's going on outside of the classroom.